everybody, it's Mary Kay and it's day two of the F It Challenge. And today we're gonna work the booty because who doesn't wanna work that? We're gonna do four moves. We're gonna start with a sumo squat. Then we're gonna do a front loaded squat. Then we're gonna come down to the ground and we're gonna do hip raises and a straight leg raise. As I'm going through this, if you don't have heavy weight, you don't have to have heavy weight. If you're a beginner, you can use no weight at all and then add on as you feel more comfortable. Make sure you get your form right before you add any sort of weight whatsoever. In addition to weight, once I get past the sumo squat, I'm also gonna add resistance bands because I like to use both. So I'll go over that when we get to that. So to start with the sumo squat, this will be the heaviest weight that I'm gonna use today. If you're using weight, what you like to do is you wanna have it right in the middle of your chest, kind of hold it like this. You want your legs wider than hip width, toes paint, facing outward, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop down like you're sitting on a chair, but you want your chest up in almost like your back is sliding against the wall. And you're just gonna go as down as far as you can and back up. And then from the side to see, again, it's down as far as you can and back up. You wanna do 15 of those. Ah. Second one, I'm gonna use a resistance band. If you use bands, always make sure there's no tears. Guess what, if there's a tear, it's gonna go flying and it's gonna hurt. So to put them on, just slide them on and you want them above your knees, sort of mid thigh. And what that's gonna do is gonna give you extra resistance here in addition to the weight. Now, for front loaded squat, you want your legs exactly hip width apart, facing forward. You're gonna load your dumbbells up to your shoulders and again, same idea. You're gonna drop it like it's hot and go down and back up. So down and back up, like you're sitting in a chair and then right before you get it, you come back up. So you can see from the side, down and back up. Again, the challenge is 15. Next move, you wanna to get to a tabletop position. Again, try to keep your band straight. On all fours, you're gonna just extend one leg now again, you could do this with absolutely no band and no weight. And all you're gonna do is lift up and down. You wanna make sure your hips are square and just go up and down. It's normal if your bands roll. And try not to let it touch. If you can't do straight leg, if your hamstrings are too tight, just bend and do more of a donkey kick. But again, trying to keep about hip level as you go up and down, but make sure your hips are straight. And that'll be 15 each side. Last move, which is always a good one hip raise. Now, depending on what kind of weight you have, for a normal hip raise, you can use no weight at all. You want your heels as close to your butt as possible, arms on the floor. You're gonna lift as high up as you can, hold it, squeeze it, and come down, but try not to let it touch, and back up. Now that's with no weights. Then if you wanna add a weight, you can use one dumbbell, or you can use two. I'm gonna use two place the weights directly on my hips. Again, straight up and come down, but don't let it touch. And up when you're at the top, really squeeze and you'll feel it in your posterior chain too, and down. And again, 15 and three rounds of all four moves. Good luck, let me know if you have questions and I'll see you tomorrow.